What's up, wrestling fans? It's Joe Cronin, and this is very disturbing and disgusting and horrific. Um, I got to read this to you because if you don't know about this news right now, this is just what this is bizarre. And uh, th this is one of the most weirdest, uh, disturbing things uh, that's gone on in a while. This guy attempted to kidnap Sonya Deville. Um, Fox 13, a burglar alarm apparently thwarted the efforts of social media stalker who had been planning for months to kidnap WWE wrestler from her home, um, according to information from deputy, deputies. Philip A. Thomas of South Carolina broke into a home along Pine Hammock Boulevard inside the Promenade of Lake Park subdivision. Why, why, why don't we just give out their address to everybody else? I mean, like, what are we doing? You know what I mean? Like, what are you doing? Anyway, I'll skip that part of the rest of that, um, even though it's public info all over the place. But uh, either way, whatever. The guy was arrested. Um, the home's alarm was triggered. Thomas opened the sliding door. The sick weirdo opened the sliding door, entered the home. Two individuals inside saw or heard this, and so they ran um, and called the police. When they saw the intruder, they fled and called 911. When deputies arrived, they say Thomas was still inside the home with a knife and plastic zip ties and duct tape and mace. It's frightening to think all the ways this incident could have played out. The home alarm had not gone off and alerted the homeowner of the intruder. Um, according to the sheriff's office, Thomas came... Uh, from South Carolina, specifically targeting the homeowner. They say Thomas had parked his car at a nearby um, church, walked to the home, then cut a hole in the patio screen, waited for the th waited for three or four hours watching and listening through the window until his target went to bed. After his arrest, the 24-year-old allegedly told deputies he was planning to take the homeowner hostage a crime he planned for more than eight months. Deputies unveiling the suspect's disturbing, disturbing obsession with the homeowner who had never met, but stalked on social media for years. By the way, stalking um, is a major issue for a lot of people, according to uh, Matt Riddle, you know, who had been stalked by that girl who said that he assaulted her, but he now and his wife claim stalk him. So there's a lot of different stalkers, Sasha Banks, and just so many of the women obviously have to deal with this even. Um, I mean, men have to deal with it too, but the women, it's definitely a scary thing. Deputies did not identify the victim, but property records show the home is owned by um, Sonya Deville. Thomas was charged with aggra aggravated stalking, armed burglary, attempted armed kidnapping, and criminal mischief. I'm going to assume that a that planning on zip tying, macing, and abducting someone, I just don't, I, you know, I don't know how you don't go to jail for damn near the rest of your life for this one. You know, I mean, you can't get any more clear that you were attempting to take another human being hostage, or he probably claimed hostage because hostage isn't that bad, isn't, I don't think is as bad, right? Like, but if he had if he had said, "Oh, I was going to abduct her and just molest her for the in my basement," you know, that would be like more scary. But if you say like hostage, I I don't know. I'm I'm just guessing. I have no idea. This stuff's all allegedly, but um, this is terrifying and weird. And I hope this guy, I I, I want to see this guy just stomped on. You know, Sonya Deville wanted to beat up JD because he made a comment a while back, um, and she she got a little boo boo face because of it. So I hope to God that her response to this guy is a lot worse than um, her response to him. I honestly think that uh, even had he snuck in the house, that, that these two women, I'm assuming two women in the house, I don't know, would have uh, beaten the hell out of this guy. <laughs> like, even, even if he'd maced one of them, he still would be in trouble. But uh, thankfully, that did not happen, because this is terrifying. And I hope this guy uh, gets uh, molested in jail by a, by a gigantic um, sausage. So there you go. What do you guys think about this? Leave in the comments below. Also, Chris Jericho talks about the NXT rat 
who came to AEW and was ratting out all their stuff. And uh, that video is popping up on your screen now in case you missed it earlier from me and a few other things as well. Plus, tons of audio was uploaded to Patreon earlier today. It's up there right now for you. I'm Joe Cronin, and I'll see you later tonight.